Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Friday the 27th of November. We have new mods and we have a load of updates too. The updates are as follows. From top left, the pickup 1969 Brazil by Conta Camigo modding. Uh, that, I believe, has got some new tyre options and you can change the colour away from blue. The NMC Scarrock pack by North Modding Company has had the same update that the Raptor Reaper and Rambler had the other day. The Case IH Steiger series by Steenkamp Modding. The Kuhn GMD 2811 by, I think it's Okada or 50 Kada. The Random Bitrim Short Bulk Trailer by Eric Isaac Agro Mods. The Harrow 5 by Heniak NDF. The One Axle Trailer by User B4D and Consi. The Bench Drill and Grill Pack by a dub modding from top left again the gilbart delta 850 by imf modding but the update to that is console release the south brazilian map by eric isaac agro mods starovis by xylac 04 now that has had a major overhaul massive lawfolds aberdeenshire by um, made by stussy converted over by cm mods the Lizard Transporter by BGamer003, the Cow Husbandry RL Modding, the KSIH Puma Tier 4 by Blauer, the Sip Pioneer 20 by BGamer003, and the Emily AM317 by Simulagri Modding have all had updates today. We are going to get on to one of those, which is uh, the update for it is that it's released to console, but we'll get to that later on. Directly in front of me, we've got the Fuel Bowser. This is by Green Bale, 0 0.66 megabytes to download, one slot on console. This is a three-point link mounted fuel bowser, and it holds 500 litres, as it says right there. Very nicely detailed. We do have some options on colours. This you'll find under tools and miscellaneous. There we go. 1,500 to buy. We can change the main colour to anything on that palette, well, like so. It fills up, as far as I'm aware, at pretty much any fuel point. It is three-point link mounted. It can be mount mounted front or rear. It does have a three-point link mount. I wonder if you can attach something else onto that. That's weird. Just only thought of that. No, that's just for... Yeah, because I'm doing female to female there, aren't I? That's why. Anyway, yeah. But it can be attached either side, I think, is probably where I was going with that. So there you go, that's the first one. That's the Fuel Bowser by Green Bale. Next up we have the Bale Pusher. Not everyone gets on well with Bale Pushers, not everyone likes them or uses them, but we have one, or we have a few, but this is a new one. This is by ARM Team, 1.99 megabytes to download. It's five slots on console. Nicely detailed, we've got some options to change the, the colours for the striping on there. You do have the option as well to have it with lights or not. We can raise and lower it automatically. L1 and circle. Or L1 and right stick side to side. We can do tilt. And manual raise and lowering. Depending on if you want to get a particular angle on the bales. Like so. This one you will find. Under tools and baling technology. There we have it, the bale pusher. 1,000 to buy. Options available, we can change the design colour. So we can, like say, we could leave that maybe on yellow and then do the other one black. So have a more kind of a standard hazard marking, if you want to call it that. Or like I did, maybe go for a red and white. It's entirely up to you, whatever you want to do. And then we've got the option without lights or with lights. Now, if you're adding paint on, as you can see, it almost doubles the price. Uh, 1,500, well, more than doubles the price, yeah. But anyway, those are your options. That's what it does. It's a bail pusher. And that is by ARM Team. Moving on, we have got all of this. Why? That's weird. My... Oh, hang on a second. Just try something. Light options are working. My torch has stopped working. 
R1 and circle to get your flashlight up. Nothing. Why is my flashlight not working? Sorry, I've just asked very strange. Anyway, I just wanted to be able to see these a little bit better, the ones that are in the shadow. This is the Magsy Tool Pack. This is by Nikopix, 9.73 megabytes of download. We have a whole selection here. Most of the tools are two slots each. They are all either front loader attaches or three point link mounted. Most of them are front loader attaches. We have got a leveler, which is also two slots over the back, which we'll have a look at in a second as well. And then we've got weights as well. There are three weights over there, which are one slot each. So we do have a selection of various different size buckets. We've got some silage grabs. We do have some options on these to have silage grabs with the like a little side slot in there. Um, I think that's that's also like a leveler. I think for just moving stuff around, really. Silage fork. Then we've got a root crop bucket. More silage grabs. Three weights, and then the leveler. All very nicely made. All the like the laser cutting and stuff. It all looks very nice. But there are quite a few. So apologies if I'm kind of whizzing through them all, but you kind of get the gist. You will find most of these under front loaders. So starting there with the 1,393 1, litre bucket. These take most crop types. We can change the colour option. On pretty much all of these, it's the same for colour option. We can change. And then we've got a 980 litre version, an 840 litre version. Then we've got the... I mean, it's a silage bucket for all intents and purposes, but it will take everything with a claw on the front of it. 1,350 litres. This one does same options for colour, but then design colour we can change to something like that. And then we can have it without border or with border. And that's where the design colour comes in, like so. Then we've got a 1,200 litre version of that. Same options apply. We've got that one, the... I mean, it's, it just moves anything really. I, I don't think it's necessarily. It might be for bales. It's on a longer arm. It doesn't. There's no um, capacity for that one. So I would think probably more for piles of straw or hay or a bale or something like that. We've then got a manure fork, 870 liters. We've got the root crop bucket for potatoes and sugar beet, 1,725 liters. Again, all the color options are the same. Um, we've then got the multi grab forks. Pretty much the same as the ones we had earlier, but that's 1,100 litres, and that one's 1,000 litres. Most crop types, again, colour options, and the sideboard situations are the same. That's on there. Then we go down to weights, and we have the CL800 Mag-Z 800 kilogram weight. We can change the main colour on that to anything on that palette, like so. Then we've got the AD400 and the AD600. 400 kilogram, 600 kilogram, same thing. We can change the colour to anything on that palette, like so. And then lastly, in this pack of 14 items under levellers, we've got the Magsy leveller. Again, we can change the colour option to anything on that palette. And I'm pretty sure with that one as well, you can adjust the side, like the side flaps a little bit to bring them in or bring them out a little bit wider. Um, there's quite a lot in there. I haven't tested every single one. I haven't picked them all up. They all do pretty much the same functions as a lot of front loader tools we've got, but it's just another selection available to us in our tub. So there we go. That's the Magsy Tool Pack by Nico Picks. Moving on. We've got this. This is the Rostsel Mash Torum 760. This is by DB Modding. 14.24 megabytes download, 13 slots on console. I'm sure we had the Torum 760 on 17, didn't we? Very, very nice. The Russell Mashes, or the older versions of the Russell Mashes, always seemed very slab-sided to me. The newer ones are a little bit more kind of, you know, sweeping in their design. But it's very nicely made. I think this is a 12,000 litre capacity, but again, we will double-check that in a moment. Very long pipe on it as well. Lovely looking mod, that. This you'll find under vehicles and harvesters. Price-wise, not too bad. 285000 for the base model, which is there. 477 horsepower. Yeah, 12,000 litre capacity. We've got the option of... Let's zoom in a little bit. We can have Trelleborg, Mitus, 
Michelins. The Michelins are wide standard. There's no other option on those. If we go back to Trelleborg, we've got narrows for all intents and purposes. Then we've got standards, wides, and back to narrows. And under Mitas, we've got standard, wides, and back again. And like I said, under Michelin, we've just got wides. Those are your options. There's no twin options or anything like that. Let's hop in. Horn, beacons, two at the front, one at the rear, lights, nice lighting all round, like so. There's not a light on the pipe I don't think, if we open it up first, nice smooth animation on the unfold and then L1 and down on the D-pad brings the pipe out and like I say nice long reach on the pipe very high as well in cab nicely detailed looks good now there are loads of Russell Mash options for headers in game already this one doesn't come with a specific header the lights off, beacons off, pipe in. But then there's also a load of modded options for various different headers where you can actually change the logo as well on them, which means you would be able to put Russell Mash on them as well if you should choose to do so. Very nice. It's always nice to have some new harvesters in game. That's the Russell Mash Torum 760 by DB Modding. Next, over here. Now this was the one that was showing as an update today, but the update is it's released to um, console. This is a Gilbart, I think it is. The Gilbart 8, a Delta 850. This is 4.42 megabytes download, two slots on console. It's by IMF Modding. It's a subsoiler, as you might be able to tell. There's nice sweeping blades underneath. Very nicely made and nicely detailed. This only runs at four miles an hour though. I think most of those other subsoilers run at six or seven. So it's a little bit slower. It is three meters though. Some of you may be happy about that, some of you may not. This you'll find under tools and subsoilers. There we go. 12,500 requires 100 horsepower. Yeah, and that only runs at four miles an hour. Seven, seven nine yeah so fairly slow i suppose no options available you get it as it comes and if it acts in the same way that subsoilers usually do it will give you a cultivated look but it will give you a plowed state ah okay that's a little bit different so whilst it's under subsoilers that is giving us a complete plowed state and plowed look which subsoilers, generally speaking, haven't done quite a lot recently. There you go. Ploughed look and ploughed state. I think this allows you to create fields as well. Yep, top left, if I press L1 and triangle, it will then give me the option to create a field. I'm going to go all the way across, is what I normally do. Let's do it back here. Just drop that down. And you can create your own fields or extend the ones you've got already. So there you go, that's the Gilbart Delta 850 by IMF Modding. Let's limit that to fields, drop that off. Next we have got the Lizard K4M. This is a... I think it's a cultivator, I'm sure that's where I found it. Look up to it. So this one unfolds, it's four meters. Again, nicely detailed, all the tines and bolt heads and that kind of stuff. This is by uh, Pan Bartosz. This is 5.74 megabytes download and four slots on console. Well, it should be four slots on console. This will be found, I think it was just under cultivators. <laughs> there we go. 
requires 60 horsepower to run. Yep, four meters wide and it'll run at nine miles per hour. We do have the option to change it or the color to anything on that palette, like so. So we unfold it, drop it down. And there you have it, four meters cultivating with the Lizard K4M by Pan Bartosz. Apologies if I said that name wrong. Next, we've got something, this is, I like this, I, I always say this before, I like most of the mods, if not all of the mods that come out. But I like something different, and this is definitely different. Look at that. This is the Joskin Cargo Track Pack. This is by Whiteball Modding. 12.32 megabytes to download. The vehicle itself, the cargo track, is 12 slots, and this comes with two backs that go with it. We've got a manure spreader, which is five slots, and we've got the silo space, Joskin silo space trailer, which is also five slots. That is a muck spreader that spreads out to 24 meters and holds 48,000 liters. That holds pretty much everything and is 65,000 liters. Now, this is, oh, I can't remember what the horsepower was, we'll check it. It has a trailer hitch on the back, so you can hook up other trailers and things to it. It does say you can use it as a lorry. Now, when it says that, there's no fifth wheel attacher for this. It does have a trailer hitch, which is kind of, I think, what it means. This is an IT runner connect connector, but this only hooks up to these two. I did try it with a couple of other IT runner backs from other packs, and it won't even give the option to attach. It only attaches to these two, which come, which come in this pack. But it is incredibly nicely detailed. Front two axles steer, as does the rear, so it's got a really nice tight turning circle for a fairly long vehicle. Interesting design as well, isn't it? This you'll find under vehicles, under trucks, 205,000 to buy, yeah, 480 horsepower and 12 slots. There are no options available. It comes in just, just skin green, and like I say, has a trail hitch on the back, 49 miles per hour it will run at. As far as the backs go, you'll find one under manure spreaders. There you go, 45,000 to buy. As I said, 24 meters spread, 48,000 in capacity. It will run at 12 miles an hour when it is spreading. Again, no options available, you get it as it comes. And then the other one is under trailers. There you go, the silo space. Only 32 grand for a 65,000 litre capacity. Now, admittedly, you do have to have the actual lorry bit as well, which brings the price up. But that's pretty good. And that's only five slots. It will take pretty much everything according to the list down there. And there are no options available on this one either. You get it as it comes. So, let's hop in. Horn. Lights. Nice bright set of lights on that. Open the back. Actually, I'm going to hook up to the manure spreader. The, um, the trailer back, as I've said, is 65,000 litres and takes pretty much everything. So, but as you can see from the turning circle, for such a long vehicle, that's actually not too bad at all. But what we'll do is swing around. Hook it up. I thought I had unfolded it. No, I hadn't. Right. That's mad. But very cool. I like that a lot. Oh, that wasn't good. There's a little bit of movement on that turn then, although it's not doing it again now. 
Let's close that back down. Okay. It does take a little bit to stop, I'll be honest. When it's loaded up as well, when you put the brakes on, what I have a habit of doing is braking and turning ready to reverse, but I found it, it kind of rolls on a little bit just, just from the weight of it, really. But a very nice mod. So there we go. That's the um, Joskin Cargo Track Pack by White Bull Modding. I'm going to use it to show the next mod. I'm really worried I'm not going to get through all these, actually. Stop there. That's very cool. Oh, hang on. Did I show it in cab? I didn't, did I? There we go. Uh, so, next up, we have got this. Interestingly, a different modder entirely, but it's also a silo space. This is the Joskin Silo Space 2245. This is by Bueno. It is 6.82 megabytes to download, six slots on console. It is a 45,500 litre capacity, I think. It is a trailer, as you can see. Also, very nicely made. Rear steering axle. Takes pretty much everything, if I recall from looking at the mod tub when I just got it. This you'll find also under tools and trailers. There we go, 39,000, yeah, 45,500 litre capacity. It takes pretty much everything. Options available. Let's zoom in a little bit. We can have Trenaborg or Michelin's, and that's it. Standard or wide on both of those. And then we can have it with no warning signs or with warning signs, which puts those warning squares, like silvery and red, either side of the mudguards. Like so. And those are your options. Now, using the one from before, because it's got a trailer hitch, it should hook up with it on there. Back up. There we go. So you can run that. Joskin with the trailer on the back as well. Turn the lights off. Works very well. And if you have the 65,000 litre back and then you have another trailer like this on it, not a bad capacity at all. So, this one obviously, say obviously, running lights, indicators, unload, L1, R1, and unload. So that's not a big tip one. It just pushes out the back. Like so. I don't think we've got the option to raise or lower on that chassis. Oh, we might have. Hang on. Oh no, that's the flap at the front. So if you're doing silage work or something like that, you can raise and lower that flap there to allow things in and out a bit easier. There we go. There we go. Close that down. Turn that off. There we go. That's the Joskin Silo Space 2245 by Bueno. Moving on. Whoops. Moving on. We've got this. This is the Petro Farm Gas Station. At night, this all lights up. The sign lights up as well. It is a placeable petrol station. The petrol pumps do work. For filling up. Farm Americans press. <laughs> Farmer card. Nice, nice little touches that. But there you go, plenty of pumps. This you'll find under placeables and miscellaneous. There we go, 100,000 to buy. Well, it's fairly pricey for a petrol station, isn't it? Um, this is, where is it on my list, 8.08 .08 megabytes download, 16 slots on console. This is by Team IWMM. So if you're looking for a nice big old petrol station, you've got a nice big old map to put it on. That might be the one you're looking for. Excellent. Moving on from there. We've got this. 
This is the Alpine Cow Barn. This is by Camelos 0397. It's 9.55 megabytes download, 22 slots on console. Nicely detailed. I did find the triggers a little bit finicky. I was I put some feed and stuff in because I wanted to see. That's weird. Where the triggers were. The straw trigger was along. Well, the thing shows there, but I found the trigger was here, but really right up close to the railing. For putting straw bedding in the milk trigger is here your animal dialogue box is there and interestingly now i've had this happen before i'm not getting the option to put anything else in here it's not coming up well that could be because the other mod we've got installed but i already put the first load in hmm. anyway feed trough is in here this is another one you're going to require a very low trailer and it's got to be one that doesn't tip in any way shape or form because it doesn't like it <laughs> as you can tell very low roof does it say it holds 100, uh, 120 this holds the water trigger is around the back here for putting water in we do have light switch there is that going to work there we go lights on for inside now what is also pretty cool about this we've got a ramp up into the hayloft it's got a big old hayloft up the back here and you can actually push the bales off into here as well i guess if you wanted to but the fact you can drive in and out of it i like that as a feature that's pretty cool slurry point is just here and then our manure comes out there now what made me a little bit concerned was the manure is coming out there but it looks like there's some in there as well I'm assuming that's an error? Don't know. Nicely made. Solar panels on the roof. This you'll find. Under placeables, under animal pens. There you go. Alpine cow barn. 120,000 to buy. And do I say it was 22 slots? 22 slots on console. So that's the first of the buildings we're going to look at. Next, we've got this. This is the Polish barn. This is by Daniel X321. Really nice building, loads of detail. What I like about these as well, we've got some haylofts on these too, with ladders as well. The amount of these buildings we get with a hayloft and then no way of actually getting up to that door to open it. But the, we have ladders provided. These doors do open and close and we have a hayloft in here, should you want to put small bales or oh, store whatever you like in there. Close that. That one not going to open. This door does open. We've got a little side section just tucked away in there with a door on the end if you want to use the door on the end light switches on the outside here and that controls the lights for the entire building so if you look here i've already opened these these are drive through big doors loads of room for getting big machinery in and out which is great and there's another hayloft here again with steps nice touch like that you can use it if you want to use it or store whatever you want to store in here it's entirely up to you but the detail on it is incredible so this is the polish barn 8.34 megabytes download 21 slots like i said by daniel x321 it's just a nice mod this not too heavy on the slot count either when you consider the amount of detail on it and the size of it if i just do the lights now there you go, so the lights have gone off through the whole building. I don't think this has got a workshop trigger. I think it's just a barn. I say just a barn, but yeah. Very nice indeed. So that you'll find. Other placeables and sheds. There you go, 80,000 to buy. 21 slots for the first one, then the slot count drops down. So there you go, Polish Barn by Daniel X321. Next up, we've got the po Polish Buildings Pack. So it's another Friday where they're making my life yeah, just unbelievable. This is by Daniel X321 and Sizek. This is 16 megabytes download. Various different slot counts on the buildings, which we'll get to. We do have in this pack a cow barn, a garage, a garage extension, a barn and a shed. So five items in this pack. The cow shed is 24 slots, the garage is 17 slots, the garage extension is 16 slots, the um, barn is 16 slots and the shed is 14 slots. 
all again really nicely detailed i think because it's made by daniel x321 as well it fits in with that polish barn as well really nicely with the textures the coloring the brickwork again lights in all the buildings light switch is just there doors open and close drive through on that one which is the barn the shelter again nicely detailed for putting whatever you want light switch is just there for that one i'm just going to double check to see what it says in the mod hub at least that's what i was going to and my curse has vanished my computer's decided not to stop working Buildings in the Polish Dale, the mod contains. Doesn't say if they're seasons ready or not. But anyway, uh, so that's the barn and shed. Garage extension is just here. Two garage doors, smallish garage, does have lights as well in here. And you can place it very, very close up next to it. I didn't know you could get closer, I just didn't get any closer. But as an extension to the garage, absolutely great. This one doesn't have a ladder to get up there, but there is a little. I did jump up on the door here I think was how I got last time maybe not how did I get onto it last time can't remember now anyway that door does open you can get up in there if you want to again we've got two doors on this one light switch inside you can get into the little side bit here as well if you want to all the doors open and close so that's the first four of those buildings and then we've got the cow shed now the cow shed is a bit another one that's a bit finicky here and there. Milk trigger is here. Dialogue box. It's not coming up on here either. Hmm. Which it did because I put animals in. Odd to say the least. Slurry point is here. This does have a hayloft as well. With a ladder you can get up to and go and have a look. Oh no, hang on. That's the dialogue box here. Oh, it's not working either anyway. <laughs> oh, feed and straw and water triggers are all inside here, but again, very low, very narrow. You're going to need a smallish trailer, one that pushes out the back, not one that tips. As you can see, the manure appears here, which you have to take out and then you'd have to put somewhere. That's very weird. This thing with the triggers. I can't remember the last time this happened and what caused it. Um, so these you will find. The under placeables and sheds. We've got the garage for 40,000. The garage extension for 30,000. The barn for 50,000. And the shed for 20,000. And then under animal pens. At the very end we've got the cow barn for 90,000. It holds 20 cows and requires all the various different things you would expect for cows which brings me on to i think the last of the mods today now i just got a message literally as i started to record this from Jaden. so thank you Jaden. i kind of had sort of worked it out already but thank you for messaging me and letting me know these potentially it's another one of those potential game changer not necessarily because of what it can do now but the potential of what it might be able to do moving forward um, this is the old production pack this is by farmer manu 5.78 megabytes download it's each building is eight slots it's not it doesn't work with seasons now this is a little bit like the factory pack and it works on the same principle using the animal menu now i'm also aware that the factories mod caused massive problems with animal pens across the game if you had it installed and i'm wondering whether that's what's been causing the problem now with me not being able to use these very well there are in the the description for this in the mod hub there are a lot of instructions that go with this it does say, one, the, this production pack does not work with Seasons at this time. Important note, this production pack currently only works on No Man's Land because Farmer Manu is one of the map testers for Alien Jim. So Alien Jim and Farmer Manu have worked together. And if you remember recently, No Man's Land got an update to allow for this production pack. So this production pack at the moment is only working on this map, No, no Man's Land. And I say working, you'll see in a minute. 
Uh, for this production pack to work on other maps, a map creator must include the required files and lines of code into his or her map. If he or she, she so wishes, the information can be found in the info folder. So they can be put onto other maps if the map maker wants them to be. That's where the potential also comes in. Now it says, reminder, just like the factories pack by E.R. Shabba, these have been created from the animal system used in the base game. The game is limited to 10 animal stables placed within one save game. The total number of stables and factories together can never be more than 10, but it is recommended that it doesn't exceed 8. It then goes on to say, sell all animal stables pre-installed on the map, if possible, um, on the map you're playing on, before placing one of these production facilities. It is also recommended to save your game before proceeding to, pr to place a production facility to avoid losses of progress in your game. To be able to use the facility, you must activate it as if you were buying an animal. You can find the trigger by the front door. These facilities can be sold as if they were any other placeable in-game. Uh, you must completely empty the production from the facility before you can sell it. Now, the potential for this as well, what I've, I'm re really excited about, is we have got a building here for silage production. If you bring chaff to these building or this building, Put the chaff in here, and it holds a little over 90,000 litres to start off with. This will then produce silage for you, which will appear in crates here. This one will produce pig food. Now on all three of these, the trigger is here. Press L3, and now that's not working. If you press L3, it gives you the option to go into. If you look here in the menu, you'll see I've got them. Silage production, productivity 100%. Hay production, sorry, pig food production, productivity is only 27. Now, the, the pig food one requires all of those things like you would normally feed the pigs. It says productivity 27%, but you require putting in corn, wheat or barley, soybean or canola or sunflower, potatoes or sugar beet to get the productivity up, and it will produce pallets of pig food for you so it's a pig food production machine which is what we've been kind of hoping for hay production you put in grass you get out of hay now here's the problem at the moment on here on no man's land the only one that's working is hay production as you can see i've got bags of hay now, when Jaden messaged me, he messaged to say that for some reason, both of these two, silage and pig food production, are set on hay for some reason. And because they're set on hay, they're not producing anything. I ran time forward. That's how I managed to get those bags of hay. I've got nothing coming out for pig food. I've got nothing coming out for silage. So as it stands at the moment, they're not working properly. The hay one is... Uh, but Jaden did message to say, in the message, he said that Farmer Manu is aware and has resubmitted the fix to Giants. Now, as I've already said, I don't know whether this is going to cause major issues with regard to animal pens on other maps or on this map, or I really don't know. It's that kind of early stages of, it's here, this is what it should be doing. It's not doing that at the moment, but again, the potential is there moving forward if it works. If it causes big problems like the factory mod did, I honestly can't see a lot of people using it, which is really frustrating. Um, but there you go. I mean, that's that's the, the pack. These you'll find under animal pens. They're 30,000 each. And like I say, eight slots each. Uh, they should get an update. This one will only, at present, well, sort of, only work on no man's land unless map creators take up the code and decide they're going to put it in on their maps but there you go um i think looking down my list i think that's it for the mods for today i really was hoping for better news with this i really was um but it is what it is that, that's what we've got at the moment and i'm assuming it will it will get sorted out as quickly as possible um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do.
If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Have a lovely weekend. And thanks for watching.